Has hating black gold suddenly gotten old? Whittier, California official Bob Henderson, seen here, has dedicated the past 30 years to protecting a local preserve from drilling. But then he saw how much money was in it. Indeed, the environmental crusader has morphed into a drilling persuader in light of dinosaur coffee at 100 bucks a barrel. As a result, Whittier stands to accrue as much as 600 million in oil revenues over a 25-year span. The proposal has sparked many a debate within this burb, with Bobby now having to defend himself, explains the turncoat, quote, it's not that I decided to destroy the preserve. This has the potential to contribute millions of dollars to the preservation effort. Counters Paula Castanen, who's a member of the Whittier Hills Oil Watch, a fun group, by the way. Mm, yeah, yeah. We meet every Wednesday. She says, you can't one minute say, I want to save these hills and then move to drill on them. Oh, yes, you can. But perhaps the most compelling argument comes from one concerned local, Marshmallow Fluff Man. Again? How did, how did you get my family footage? <laughs> Is that what you do? You surprise your guests yes. with a picture of them when they were... That's what I thought. Yeah, I remember that day, sort of. Yes. <laughs> Those are the days of white oil. Yeah. <laughs> no, man, it was... Never mind. Yeah. Hey, Andrew, huh? uh, the drilling would only disturb seven acres of a 1,300-acre preserve. What's the big deal? Well, that doesn't sound like a very big deal, but uh, what's the bigger deal here is hypocrisy. Someone changing their mind. And that really should Isn't be... Isn't that ev evolution? Well... <laughs> Wait, change your mind. Evolve thought. Evolve, well, you're yeah, thinking. that's what I think. You should be able to change your mind. And maybe if they're saying six hundred million, that's not going to this guy. That's going to the community. Yes. What can they do with that money for seven acres? Yeah. And besides, who in this argument is not using oil every day? That's all I keep thinking about. Yeah. Is, and they got away. And they were they were uh, protecting their land while using oil that was taken from another land. So they're the hypocrites, Masa. Am well, I right? There yes, you go. they are the hypocrites. <laughs> and I think the fact that somebody for 20 years was fighting against drilling and now they decided that they're for it, that shows you all the pluses that comes from it. I mean, more drilling means more jobs. That's important with 9.2% unemployment rate, you know, caused by the policies that you like, Bob. It's important <laughs> because it's going to also lower the price of gas. <laughs> it's also going to make us less dependent on the Middle East when every time there's a political uprising that it spikes up the price of oil and I know you don't want to make us less dependent I'd on like the Middle to cut East, the Middle but... East off including Iran and let it drift <laughs> out to the Indian Ocean look so... I, here's this is a good this is a good example this is a good example of a guy yes there's hypocrisy here there's no question about it but the reason that they need this money is, as with most other places, all you conservatives convinced us that this deficit's really terrible. They've laid off all these people. These towns need this money, so they've got to go, of all things, and dig up dinosaurs. I mean, it, it's, it is, uh, it's too bad. He's got to do it. I understand why he's doing it. I, I, it's, you call it uh, hypocritical. I think it probably is survival for a town that's been absolutely drained, like most towns, by Republican orthodoxy. I think it's, I think it's great hypocrisy because... They were selfish, and now, now that they see there's money, they're going to do it themselves. And what's wrong with drilling, Bill? It Dikes are beautiful. Those those big giant drills and things are they're better looking than windmills. Look, I, I I hate big oil and the little tax breaks that they get. So, I, but I'm with uh, I'm with Scarface over here in the sense that uh, I feel that this is just seven. Who's Scarface? Huh? The Captain Blow over here. He's putting me to shame. <laughs> Not me. Uh, hey, hey, leave the gun, take the cannoli. We uh, <laughs> uh, uh, go ahead. You finish your thoughts. <laughs> um, is he, I thought he was Cuban. Um, <laughs> But no, yeah, it is. It's, it's, it, it amounts to uh, what? Four city blocks, and the egg, and this thing's almost two thousand acres. Why not save the town? Well, yeah, save it because they need it financially. But I mean, you're not going to drill yourself out of the energy. What's problem. wrong with drilling anyway? I just don't understand. What's don't... wrong with it? Well, let's start with what happened in the Gulf of Mexico. There's but a thought. Mistakes happen. <laughs> yeah, oh, mistakes ugly. happen. Yeah, it's, it's ugly. But that any any time you're trying to do something, create something, there's a risk. That happens with coal. It happens with everything. Well, there's, yeah, there's a risk when you space, drill a, when you drill a mile program. down in with a bunch of. Pharmaceuticals have risk. Space programs have risk. Everything that man does has some kind of risk. Believe me, pharmaceuticals have risk. But uh, uh, I would left take, myself take, open. You did take it, take it in excess. Uh, no, I just think. Look, the idea that it's, it's got to be alternative energy at some point. And you watch the price of the oil is going up. Why is it going up? Because Gaddafi is still. Uh, in Libya, he'll be gone in two weeks. That deal has been cut already. I would guarantee you. Yeah. And the Iranians, with all due respect, <laughs> um, I, love, listen, I love how you why represent do I not Iran represent now. That? <laughs> it's, we got a very simple answer for uh, the mullahs. Um, the uh, look, look, if if they were to shut off the, the Gulf of Hormuz, 
price of oil would go to three or four hundred dollars. Do you want to depend on the Iranians to keep price below a hundred dollars? Well, what do you want? Windmills? You want solar power? Yeah. Please. What's wrong with that? Windmills. You like that device the, 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 with the head bobbing up and down, <laughs> pumping the oil out? Oh, is it's that really it fun. Yeah. It goes, <laughs> you ever try to sleep next to one? I passed out one down, not under one of those things, and I thought, sure, I did. In California, you know, they got them in, in high schools in California. They yes. got them everywhere. The yeah. things are, they're ugly. I think they're better they're than loud. Windmills I have never Windmills slept under one of them. That's true. So many birds. They're oh, just big, what a shame. No, they're big wooden cats. They're like big wooden cats. Listen, cats. as long as they're not he killing, although, I know. you know, I, I do hate cats. I mean, being a liberal, I am for, uh, for example, yeah. dangerous species, but I've been attacked by the, you know, the people for the, uh, what is it? Peter? Peter, yeah. Peter, yeah. Peter, Peter. They came up when I was giving a speech and they poured paint on my boots, my cowboy boots. Now, they were made from an endangered species. Yes. That's okay. Yeah, okay. Right. But I just, uh, you know, the problem with this is that you can get carried away with too many things. Mm -hmm. And you guys are carried away with the idea. Now, you want to know where the segue is here? There is one. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I ask your wife. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great segue. How that is, is the best that? segue <laughs> ever. <laughs> That's a t-shirt. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. Do you have a comment on the show? Email us. It's red at foxnews.com. And to leave a voicemail, my direct line, call 212-462-5050. Still to come, one hell of a halftime report, I imagine, <laughs> from TV's Andy <laughs> Levy. <laughs> Tonight's halftime report is sponsored by whales. That large marine mammal with a streamlined body, a horizontal tail fin, and a blowhole on top of the head for breathing. Thanks, whales.